Hey everyone, welcome back to the sunny side where we have weekly love horoscopes that I write for the Echo newspapers and good old Supernatural, <laughs> Kamloops, BC. There are hypnosis style meditations to help mend broken hearts and find true love. There's some waking hypnosis and NLP tips and tricks that you can use in your waking life, in your daily life, in your waking life, Sunny, yeah, really. <laughs> and there's some astro and some fun astrology videos just like this one. <laughs> and today, I'm going to rank the top most courageous signs of the zodiac. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Sunny. All right, first things first, what is courageous? All right, well, you know, you know, who are the bravest signs? Well, you can have, you can obviously have courage for many different reasons and uh, in many different situations. But the guys who make this list, well, they generally have a belief and they're willing to stand up and take action to defend it. And this is different from the signs who have strong beliefs but look in other directions when their boundaries are crossed or they just leave and let you do your own thing. Now, that's not in any shape or way or form cowardice or apathy. But it's not necessarily jump into the unknown to defend something energy. And uh, anyways, I hope you guys recognize the difference or understand the difference between the two. Anyways, here we go. As usual, the top two signs were easy, but the rest of the list was fairly tough. There's some super courageous guys who don't make this list because they're slower to boil over into action. And number six just happens to be one of those signs. And that is Capricorn. All right, where do we begin? First, Capricorn is ruled by Saturn, so it's not like they're going to take any BS from anyone, you know? They're also control freaks who pride themselves on controlling both themselves and everything around them. Capricorn controls their emotions, you know, they control their actions, they control everything, and quite, <laughs> and quite secretly, they want to control you as well. It's neither good nor bad, it's just how they are. So if they sense this control is slipping, they will jump into action to correct the course. Capricorn also makes a list because they rule the um, astro sector, the 10th house, which is your place in the public world. You know, there's an axis of like nurturing and protection running between the 4th and 10th houses. Cancer takes care of the home and family, and Capricorn takes care of the public life. And they're kind of the same yet opposite at the same time. Cancer totally gives into their emotions and desires both good and bad, you know, have a look at the most dangerous uh, signs video. Capricorn, however, completely represses their emotional impulses, especially in public. So they're definitely slower to act than some of the other signs in this list. But Capricorn still protects the outer world and public personas, and they will fight for what they believe in. So, number six, Capricorn. Next! Number five on our list today can be kind of wishy-washy when it comes to almost anything. <laughs> but even they have their limits that, when crossed, will spur them into action. And that's... Libra. What? <laughs> Son is Libra. Alright, seriously. First, Libra's cardinal energy. So as much as they seem to like to go with the flow or tag along, or seem like tag along kind of guys, right? Actually, they quite subtly lead the charge. Yeah, they do it through manipulations and, sorry guys, Libra often does it through dishonesty. But they're leading nonetheless. And before we get into a huge debate, let's think about it for a second. Doesn't Libra usually lead the social brigade anyways? You know, or how about Libra throwing all of those surprise parties for their friends? Yeah, Libras are definitely go for it kind of guys, especially socially. Anyways, I'm getting distracted, right? Here we go. Libra has surprisingly firm boundaries, and they'll stick up for what they believe in. They just do it differently. No, they're not going to hit the freak button, you know. Libra has much, much more grace and poise than that. But they are a strong sign, and, they're, and believe it or not, Libras are fighters. Oh, yeah. No, they don't usually get ruffled, nor are they usually all up in your face <laughs> with objections. But they will protest, and they'll show you the error of your ways. Libra is the sign which judges others. And for the record, most people don't pass. <laughs> most people don't measure up. But again, Libras already know this. And although they don't necessarily accept it, well, Libra prefers peace, you know? And more than almost any other sign, 
Lieber, well, they're just killing time in the offending situation before they return to the romantic safe haven. And this is something you should keep in mind when trying to impress a Libra with uncultured behavior or comments, you know. I'll say it again. Libra only looks like they're going along for the ride. If you step too far out of line, they will just hit, the Libra will just hit the amscray, you know, and they'll just, they'll just jump to a more deserving situation. So, what are you saying, Sonny? <laughs> That's a good question. I'm trying to say, Libra doesn't have to hit the freak button every time something goes sideways. But they do know the difference between right and wrong, and they definitely know the difference between love and throwing stones. And if push came to shove, Libra deals out tough love in a tough situation. Actually, both signs so far are tough love signs. Anyways, Libra isn't usually moody. You know, they're intellectual and very closet brainers. They see doing the right thing as the logical course of action. And more than any other sign, they want to see a world of beauty, peace, and love. And they want a peacefully romantic way to achieve it. Libra's the most, can't we all just get along kind of guys, you know? And as bizarre as it sounds, they will fight in their own way to achieve this belief. And I know I didn't explain that very well. It's difficult to describe the nice guys as being strong and courageous as well. But truthfully, maybe this is a problem we all face anyways, whatever. But for today, anyways, I'm just saying, Libra is a lot more courageous than that beautiful smile would suggest. You know, Libra takes chances, you know, she has fun. Yes to all of the easy stuff, but she also knows all too well the dark side of life. And she'll venture into the unknown all by her Libra self to protect a beautiful world. This is easy peasy. Number five, Libra. All right, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Let's refresh with some coffee. Mm. Uh, next, number four is a fire sign who is super smart, a little psychic, free-spirited, and is the most direct sign of the zodiac. And that's Sagittarius. Sagittarius, son, are you even trying today? <laughs> well, yeah, like first, Sagittarius is arrogant. And they always think they're right, which uh, isn't so strange because more often than not, they usually are. But unlike Scorpio, let's say, who's often right but will let you be wrong, right, without saying anything, Sagittarius will speak up with that truthful yet biting tongue and they will just let you have it, you know? Sagittarius is mutable, which is always searching, you know, fire energy. And they like to have fun adventures. Yeah, Sag is awesome. You know, so let's see, being courageous is more than getting into fights or trying to prove you're right or sticking up for others. Sometimes being courageous applies to fun daily life stuff as well. You know, like bungee jumping or skydiving, you know, fun stuff. It takes a lot of courage to do the things that Sagittarius likes to do. Anyways, like some of the other fire signs, Sagittarius can be adrenaline junkies and they have a secret dark side. But they're also our most fun sign. And this means dangerous but fun adventures. <laughs> it means zip lining over a gorge. It means ice climbing. Swimming with sharks, you know? Could you see a Cancer or a Virgo doing any of that stuff all by themselves? You know? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> I doubt it. You know, Sagittarius is fun. They're smart and definitely brave. It's number four, Sagittarius. All right, next. I, you know, I'd like to rank Sagittarius a lot higher than that, but our next sign, you know, makes it on the list at number three because they have a very strong belief in themselves and how things should be. And they are definitely willing to put themselves on the line and go their own way until everyone else sees the light and eventually capitulates. And that's Aquarius. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Aquarius is also ruled by Saturn, so many of the control issues that Capricorn face, well, you know, Aquarius faces them as well. And just a little video time out here to that guy who was calling me names saying I didn't know which planet ruled Aquarius because I used Aquarius' traditional ruler of Saturn instead of its modern ruler of Uranus and when I was describing one of the characteristics. But, like, seriously, man, what planet do you think they use for the thousands and thousand years of astrology before um, Uranus was discovered. <laughs> Do you think they called Planet X? <laughs> Whatever. Okay, back to the video. Anyway.
<laughs> That's some people, man. All right, having said all of that, Aquarius is also you ruled by Uranus, obviously. <laughs> and that's sudden and explosive energy. So, you know, Aquarius seems cold and aloof, but in reality, they're actually super passionate and they care a lot more than they let on. The only thing is, it comes out in explosive impulses, and I guess revolutionary impulses as well. So, if they do get worked up, they will definitely take action and jump into the fight. But there's more. You see, Aquarius sees a better way, you know? That's just the way it is, you know? It's humanistic, it's playful, it's remarkably balanced, and it's fair. You know, as long as you agree with it. <laughs> Anyways, if you don't agree with it, or if they see people being taken advantage of, then Aquarius will jump in. And one more interesting point here, you know, I was doing some research on football quarterbacks and captains of sports teams to, you know, pick winners of supporting matches using game, using astrology. <laughs> Stick to the script, study. <laughs> and Anyways, you're not going to believe what I found out. As much as we think that many of the other signs would be captains of their teams, right? Like I went in and I thought I'd find something else. They're uh, remarkably more Aquarius who are captains and quarterbacks than I expected. Like seriously. So yeah, Aquarius is a natural leader. And as with all leaders and visionaries and pioneers and entrepreneurs, you have to be brave in a dark world that just doesn't see or understand what you're doing. And this is the life of Aquarius. <laughs> the world doesn't understand them. They know it. There are obstacles. They know it. And the world does try and dissuade them from their goals. And again, they know all of this. And yes, it takes a lot of courage to keep going when the world around you says no. And that's number three on our list, Aquarius. All right, chugging along. <laughs> okay, everyone knows number two would make this list somewhere. You guys can guess who this one is. And almost every single one of them, this is hilarious, every single one would rank themselves first on this list. And actually, they think they should be first on every list. It's really funny, you know? But this is kind of cute at the same time, and so are they. Our number two most courageous sign, Aries. <laughs> All right, there's definitely a difference between uh, courageous and impulsive, but Aries is both, and they're ruled by troublemaking Mars. So if they see something they don't like, then they're going to jump in right away. Now, Aries isn't necessarily stick up for the underdog, nor is it do the right thing energy by any means. <laughs> and Aries can just as easily be a bully as they can be a hero. It all depends on the situation. But once again, either way, Aries is jumping into the action. Does this make them courageous or just a hothead? <laughs> well, again, it depends on the situation. If the most courageous thing to do is to wait or step aside, well, that's something Aries probably isn't going to do. But if the situation requires someone to roll up their sleeves and get their hands dirty, Aries is your guy. Now, personally, I'm not a, I'm not a fan of guys who leap without looking. <laughs> you know, like... It's just me, whatever, you know, I'm, I'm a goody-goody. <laughs> but uh, what is courage, right? Doing your own thing in the face of opposition, sticking up for your beliefs, venturing into the unknown, leading by, ex you know, leading by example takes courage as well. Pretty much any way you slice it, you know, slice up the definition, you really do end up with Aries. So, you know, these guys are a total lock. Number two most courageous, Aries. All right, that was easy. All right, next, who's left? Do, 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 place your bets. Well, our number one sign today is widely regarded as the sign of courage. And as much as Aries is going to complain and Scorpio's going to hate that they didn't even make the list, you know, you can't really argue this one. Ruled by the sun, which represents personal ego, weighing in at number <laughs> inner strength, personal pride, and courage, we have... Do, 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 the undisputed champ of courage in the Zodiac, Leo. Oh, yeah. You know, this should be easy. Number one courageous? Come on, we know it's Leo. Okay, just like Aries. Okay, now, look. Just like Aries always appears to be looking for a fight, Leo <laughs> seems to be looking for a courageous situation to express themselves. And yeah, to show off a little, obviously. Leos also like to have fun. To Leo, life is like a giant play or story, and they are the star. So, 
When the situation arrives to step into the light and save the day, Leo thinks it's their responsibility to step up and be a hero. They want the ball when the game is on the line. Leo wants to win. And although constantly conscious of what's at stake, they're still going for it. What else? Leos have a loud bark. <laughs> they sure do. <laughs> and a very strong bite, indeed. They also have one of those. So they want to be the hero, and man, Leos know they can do it. But there's more. Yeah, they'll skydive, of course. Yes, they'll go on roller coasters. Yes, they'll take chances in business. And yes, they'll go it alone if it's something they believe in. But, you know, Leos also real gambling, and being courageous involves taking calculated risks. And if you haven't figured it out yet, calculated risks is ga that's gambling. So, I mean, any way you slice it, Leo is the sign of courage. The, they'll even take a back seat of what's required, you know? you know? They'll take a back, seat, a back seat, they'll step aside if that's required. If that's the courageous move, that's what they'll do. And truth be told, like seriously, is a 50-50 chance that Leo will do the courageous thing over doing the right thing. <laughs> like seriously, I know it sounds weird. But with Leo, that's just the action. Our number one most courageous sign, Leo. <laughs> and that's it. Thanks everyone for watching. If you like the channel, if you like the video, then uh, please help support the channel by sharing it on Facebook, maybe with your friends, or in a YouTube playlist. Maybe give it a thumbs up. <laughs> Subscribe to the channel. And uh, please leave your comments in your own list in the comment section below and I'll do my best to read out some of the best ones in the weekly love horoscopes which come out every Thursday right here on this channel. And that's the action. Hope everybody's having fun with these lists. I am, definitely. I <laughs> sure am. From the sunny side now, I'm Sunny, wishing everyone the absolute best of a beautiful week. And I'll see you soon.